Hello everyone, this is Lisa with Grace and Old Paper. I come to you today very excited. <laughs> I went to a phenomenal book sale at our local library this weekend and I actually went twice. Um, I went the first day because um, I knew, you know, things would go like crazy and I didn't want to miss any really good stuff. So um, the first day I went, um, they were charging by the book. Um, hardbacks were a dollar. Um, paperbacks were 50 cents. Children's books were 50 cents. So I spent $21 the first day and felt like I got a huge deal. I'm going to share what I got with both days. The second day, it was a bag event. You got a big brown grocery bag, and they told you you could stack it just as full as you wanted to the top for $6. <laughs> I had my daughter with me, and she's very good at puzzling things, you know, figuring out how to arrange things so that they fit in a certain little area. She's very good at that, and we got a lot of books. <laughs> So I'm going to share because this is exciting for junk journalers um, and for book lovers in general. So um, one thing I saw and, you know, we're always after these readers digests, but I've never seen one with this color and pattern and I thought it was really pretty. Um, I don't even know what book it is. You know, I didn't even really, didn't even really look. Pride of the Peacock, Bobbit, The Experiment, Ordinary People, and Storm Morning. Okay. The pages are nice and yellowed. So that's good. Oh, look, that was a pretty image. Oh, okay. Every once in a while you can find some good images in them and then sometimes not so good, um, depending on the story. But I can turn that into a junk journal easily. And you're gonna have to excuse my chair squeaking because I've got books stacked all around me. <laughs> One thing I'm on the hunt for now, uh, since I did my uh, youngest daughter's 25 days of Christmas journal last Christmas. She had such a good time with it that uh, she has requested one every year. So I have to keep my eye open for um, Christmas books, children's Christmas books, that kind of thing, since she has two little boys. So I saw this one and it's got some really cute artwork in it. Really cute. So I will be sure to make good use of that. And that one was 50 cents. Saw this, and this is just beautiful. She has a lot of, um, she says she's found some stickers she's gonna give me this Victorian Christmas, so she likes that too. But look at that, it's got that pop-up. How cool is that? I will be sure to uh, include that. But there's a lot of things to fussy cut. It's gonna be harder to use the actual pages because they're all cardstock. But I can use bits and pieces and, and in there here and there especially since I got the book for a dollar you know lots of fussy cutting to be done in here lots 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 oh look at that that part there that, that's cool to me it makes a box <laughs> so and it has this little frame in the back was really pleased with that all right reaching behind me for some more <laughs> Hopefully I don't knock the stacks over. <laughs> I found this one. Um, I want to do a Japanese journal for my daughter. This is not Japanese. I didn't know what it was when I first got it. I really wasn't paying attention. The, it was very crowded in that room. It was not a huge room. Um, and there was a lot of people in there. So it was kind of like grab what you can and, and think about it and then put back what you don't want, that kind of thing. But um, I may just do a, uh, I may do a Chinese journal because that's what I found out this is because boy, the images are beautiful. So beautiful. So I may do a Japanese one and a Chinese one, who knows? So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love that, got that for 50 cents. Um, I picked this up because I am have planned for several Disney journals um, 
and this just has lots of good fussy cutting to do in here little Disney images and stuff um, I say that and then I don't run across any that's really funny but there's little little tidbits of things in here that will be fun to include 50 cents for that as well I ah, love the artwork in this book so so pretty look at that isn't that just stunning? Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Quite pleased with that one. This one was in the children's book section, so but look at the artwork. How beautiful is this? <laughs> I absolutely love this book. Oh, so gorgeous. I'm not sure. Let me see. I'm trying to see how the pages are put in. If I can get to the center of the signature. Stapled. That's all right. I can fix that. This one is gorgeous, too. Look at that. <laughs> uh, I tell you, some of these children's books have the most beautiful artwork. Absolutely love it. Uh, another Christmas one, Winnie the Pooh. Uh, if you uh, watch my channel, you you saw that in a recent um, thrift haul, I found a Winnie the Pooh Christmas book. Not this one; it was a different one. But uh, I just love it. I I have a soft spot for Winnie the Pooh. I just, a real big soft spot. That's one of my favorite little children's books and shows. Just love it. More Christmas. I tried to grab all the Christmas I could find has pretty little artwork in it too. Oh. So that one's great. The smallest elf. Felix's Christmas Around the World. Look at the end papers. Absolutely love these. That's precious. If I could find some way of Getting rid of that part, that would just be a pretty Christmas journal right there. Love it. It has these little letters too. Seems like there's an actual letter in here somewhere. Oh. Cute. Uh, page is torn. Oh, there it is. Airmail from Felix, care of Santa Claus, North Pole. It's actually got a little letter in there. It's so cute. Love that one. And that was just 50 cents. Miss um, Reed's Christmas book. Oh, you know we'll be harvesting that as well. <laughs> this one has a lot of little fussy cut things um, to use. I could use some of the pages too, though. Really pretty. Look at that. I thought it was worth picking up for a dollar. This book I got because I thought this one with the title An Afternoon Walk and the green color, I thought this would make a pretty nature journal, gardening journal, something like that. See when this one's from. Isn't that pretty? 1971. I don't think there's any artwork in it. No, but that still, I got it for the cover. <laughs> oh goodness. <clears throat> 
again got this for the cover it is a reader's digest um never seen one like this before but i like it make a really good little christmas journal Where's this one from Two thousand three, not very old, but still nice cover. This one I got because of the cover too. It has some smudge on here. I want to try to get off. Um, could have cared less what the title was. The feel of this book is amazing. It is the softest, whatever this is. <laughs> I mean, it's a hard cardboard book, but. The cover is just, it's like a brushed, almost a brushed cotton. It's really soft. Really, really soft. Um, it's uh, Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. It has some very odd pictures in it. Um, very odd. You know, it's an odd style book. So, But there are a few in there I could harvest. <clears throat> there are a few. But really, I got it for the cover. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But it, it's one of those books when you feel of it, you're like, you just want to hold it. <laughs> that was that one for me. Got this one for the cover, too. Thinking it'd be a good Christmas book. It was pretty green. Silver Hill. 1967. Yeah. Yeah. Just for the cover got this from a son-in-law he um he loves to uh, do woodworking as a hobby and um his shop is their garage so <laughs> it is a small shop so it had a bunch of bunch of nice things in here and it's a really good book got the spiral bonding in it um it's a time life book so you know it's a you know it's good so you know for a dollar heck yeah heck yeah Guys, I'm still not done with the first day's books. <laughs> Found this because one of my future books I want to do is Anne of Green Gables. Um, the artwork in it is a little more on the, it's on the childish side, but I will still make use out of some of this and plus the pages. Um, lots of artwork in here, though. <sighs> I know that scene. Raspberry Cordial. <laughs> Anne of Green Gables is one of my favorite favorite uh, book series and uh, favorite movie the one with um, oh what was her name Colleen Dewhurst I think um, and Megan Follows the best version of Anne of Green Gables and Anne of Avonlea you have ever seen the best my opinion <laughs> this book cracks me up. I am notoriously naturally tongue twisted. <laughs> I get my words mixed up all the time anyway. <laughs> so my my family loves me to say certain things because sometimes it will come out very badly. Um, I'm very famous for, I'm going to say it opposite because I'm afraid I'm going to say a bad word, but a set of sheets. If you opposite the opposite see opposite that and say sheet sets when I put them together and just try to talk to them natural it doesn't come out right so this was just hilarious to me um, there are some of the best tongue twisters in here and to me this will be fun to use in like an all sorts journal um, I'll have to see how the book is put together but I just, so, so funny. I cannot say this one to save my life. That word right there gets me every time. Every time. <laughs> there was a thing we saw that said, it simply said, now you know you cannot say, and I'm off to separate it and say it really slowly, Irish wrist watches. <laughs> Put them two together and say them really fast. My, my daughter can say it, no problem. Me? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
This one I got, not for the cover, because I particularly think this one's ugly. I don't like this color. But for the <laughs> what's inside. This is the Hairdo Handbook. And it is from 1964. So that ought to tell you something right there. But the, the artwork is fantastic. Look at this. Look, look, look. There's even some photos in here somewhere. Yeah, look at that. How they used to roll their hair. Uh, they rolled their hair to get that look. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, I love this book. Love it. That'll be fun, fun, fun to use. Uh, this one again I got for the inside. It was in the inspirational section, but the artwork is so pretty. Look at that. Uh, so many pretty pages in here. So, uh, so pretty. So, for the inside. This is a Reader's Digest. Scenic Wonders of America. Really, really great old book. I hate when they tape the covers on there. That's terrible. Let's see when this is from. Nineteen seventy eight. So it's going to have vintage, vintage artwork, uh, maps, photos. Again, you know, an all sorts journal. You can put everything, or a travel journal. It'd be great to use. A really big book for a dollar, mind you. A dollar. Oh. Okay, this one. Oh, goodness. They're getting heavier. This one's what my daughter considers a coffee table book. This one and the one under it. Um, but <laughs> it's got toesies. Um, it's just got pretty things in it. And I may actually use this in my living room. I may use this for decor. Um, just, uh, I'd love it if my yard looked like that. So pretty. Just a, you know, a, a fun thing for us to look through. The cover is exactly what's out here. And I put that darn tape on there. This tape. Oh. I'll have to see if I can get that off. A dollar. Again. They had a shelf sitting by their door. Um, one of those library rolling carts. And it had a lot of these bigger books on it. And one in particular I'm going to show you in a minute, which is extremely vintage. Um, and I kind of had my hands on that other one. And I turned and looked at the ladies that were checking out, kind of questioning, you know, are these are these the same price? And she said, yeah, those are just a dollar a piece. And I'm like, <laughs> I am in so much trouble. <laughs> so this is when my bill went up. So I started looking at all these big books. But just a stunning stunning book um try to see when this one was published well that was just that artwork i don't know if it's going to tell me did i miss it well I do not know. I do not know. Well, I don't guess it's going to tell me. Okay. Well. Ah. Well, the back cover was illustrated in 1993. Let me look on the front. I didn't think about looking at the front. This was originally a $50 book, though. But it is gorgeous. I have um, three grandsons. And so they actually may find it fun looking through here.
Isn't that pretty? Like that. Yeah, so it's a coffee table book. I don't know if I will ever... This is... This is one of those things I don't think I'll ever actually take apart. I'll probably leave it sitting for my grandsons to look at. So that'll be really cool for them. I couldn't believe it was just a dollar. Just could not believe it. Okay, let me get these. This is the last, oops, the last two from this haul, from this part, from where I paid book by book. I'm gonna have to be careful opening this one because this photographer really liked uh, photographing naked people. <laughs> he saw, I guess, beauty in the uh, unclothed body. But there are some other good artworks I can harvest. I'm going to flip carefully. Like here, like the, you know how we borrow ancestors in our junk journaling photos um sorry those naked people i hope i'm not showing you <laughs> look at her not a character in that face yeah i'm, I'm having to be really careful But I thought this might be a book worth saving. Yeah. Yeah. Oop. Lord Almighty, I hope I didn't show that. I'm going to have to look. And if I have to, I'll have to find a way to blur it. And I don't know if I can. Um. Anyway, I'm not going to show you anymore because that book is dangerous. <laughs> So I'll get what I can out of it, but I, I saved it for a dollar. This is the ones I had my hands on when I questioned the ladies because I could tell from the edges that it had some age to it. Didn't even know what it was when I picked it up. You can faintly see World Atlas. This thing, it was part of the... Um, Armed Forces Information School Library from 1950. I was so excited about this. There is, of course, you know, all of those pages, but a lot of the vintage maps. I love the coloring on these, so gorgeous. But in the back, there is so much more. There is, of course, those. Uh, it's all kinds of like information pages. Look at these things. It's like a photo from a bunch of different countries around the world. I say that and I can't get it open. Oh, that's because they keep going. How cool is that? I love the vintage. That to me is cool too. Love, 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 love. It even has that old book smell. One of my favorite smells. <laughs> Since, I should say. Use my correct terminology. This will be fun to use. This will be fun to use. So that was day one. Okay. Day two. <laughs> the paper bag adventure. Um, I was lousy at stacking. I started stacking some of the bigger books in. And then I was holding some more in my hand because the bag was it was really thin paper bag. And um, I, um, a lady came up to me and she's like, would you like me to go, you know, start making you a stack over there? And I'm like, well, I'm still trying to decide on these. She's, well, it's okay. You can stack them with it and, and just, you know, decide on it before you leave. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I had to send my daughter over there several times um, to get to straighten out our bag <laughs> my my grandson got a few books too and i can't show you them because he's already took off of them my oldest grandson he got several books to read um he's in first grade now and he's quite good at reading i found this one and i thought since i was getting these books so cheap why not it, 
just why not I probably will not junk journal this this is just to keep and laugh at and read because it's got all these little snippets of, of scenes from the shows and Friends is one of our just all-time favorite shows mine and my daughter's so it's such a funny show so I'll be this will be fun to look through and maybe make some recipes out of so this one I'll go to my kitchen <laughs> this one um, I'd never even heard of this book before I know who Caroline Kennedy is but um, the artwork look how pretty and it's just full of poetry that she liked for children some of it I would not read for my children my little grandchildren but it's okay I can use some of these. I also did um, my youngest daughter a um, journal to use for just every day for her boys. And I will be making more of those. So stuff like this is great for children's journals. <sighs> Isn't this beautiful though? Absolutely beautiful. This would be good in a Christmas one right here. Look at him. Oh. Beautiful book. Beautiful book. I don't even know how many books I got. It was quite a lot. Um, another coffee table book. <laughs> Since I wasn't sure what they were going to do with all these books afterwards, I feel like I saved some. How pretty, huh? I will have to see if either of my daughters want any of these books. Oh, so pretty. Oh, they're just pretty to look at. The outside of this one, I managed to undo it. It's still got some tape residue from that awful tape they used. Pretty dark mustard color. So that's a pretty book. Okay. Let's see. Another book series, book, junk journal I want to do one day is Little House on the Prairie. Another one of my all-time favorite um, book series. So this one really, I don't think, has any artwork. But I can use the pages. Just the words. And the, the little chapter headings and stuff. That'll be good to use. Good to use. Um, I picked this one up for my grandchildren. It's always fun to have stuff like this at the house. Um, it's one of those look and find things. You've got to read the little story and it has you find things and, you know, figure out what happened in the pictures. And then when you get to the back, it gives you a whole nother set of instructions to come back on those pages and look for again. So I thought that was really cool. These three right here are primarily for my middle grandchild. He loves um, space and planets and stuff like that. And so we saw these and we added them to the bag uh, just for him to look at. Um, they, read, they read stories all the time. So this will be a good one for him to read. For him, them to read to him. He's only five. So hasn't even started kindergarten yet. So I have that one and then this one. I love that it was written by Buzz Aldrin. Didn't really look in it to start with. Um, this is not for small children because it's very wordy. Unless they read a page a day, they could do that. Because it is fascinating to look at. So I'm passing it on to them anyway. They have two boys, so um, if the oldest one, you know, they can, they're going to share the books. So this one is absolutely awesome. I read it last night. <laughs> it's the flight of Apollo 11. And it is such a good, good book. The way it puts the whole landing of the moon in story form for children. So fabulous. So if you have boys that love space, I do recommend this book. Absolutely 100% recommend this book. Okay. Oh. Uh, these three I got from my son-in-law. Woodworker journal. That's just little projects. 
Also has a pattern for something in there, so he will like that. No, I wonder if this is a Time Life book too. No, I don't think so. Nice book though. Found this one, Professional Furniture Refinishing for Amateurs. So, and he's, you know, he he likes flipping furniture too. You know, finding a piece and. Uh, making it better. So I figured he'd enjoy that. Uh-oh. Hang on. I don't want to bend the cover. Okay. And since he's the dad of two that likes to do science experiments with his boys and build things and he's a very hands-on daddy. Um, this book is so funny. 67 Blueprints for Making Cool Stuff. And it tells you, um, like the difficulty level. It's just all kinds of, of things in here that boys and daddies there would just love to make. Really, really, really cute book. I'm sure this one will be built pretty quickly. <laughs> so I thought he would enjoy that. So see, all of my books were not for junk journaling. <laughs> Some were family. <laughs> uh, Jingle Bell Mice. That's another Christmas. Love the artwork in this book. Absolutely. Look at the joy in that little face. I love this book. <laughs> Oh, this is the best book. This may be one of my favorite ones. This one I may send to my daughter. She she loves Little Critter. Loves Little Critter. So I'll see if she wants that for her children for Christmas. This was a Hallmark book. I'll use the pages. For sure, for junk journaling. That's cute. Again. Isn't it cute? I love it. This one. <laughs> this one I started reading. I just glanced at it, but saw it was Christmas and, you know, put it in the bag. But I, when I started reading it when I got in the car, because I wasn't driving, and I laughed, and I think this is going to have to go into my Christmas book collection, <laughs> because this is the funniest book. It is the funniest book. They are so forgetful. I mean, look, who is this? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> they have labels on things all over in the pictures, because they can't remember anything. I mean, it's like they hear somebody downstairs, and... She sends, he says he's go off to check it out and then he forgets where he's going and he goes to the bathroom and realizes, oh, he still has his toothbrush in his mouth. So that must be why he went to the bathroom. <laughs> it is so, so funny. They think it's the 4th of July, so they don't figure that's Santa because, you know, it's 4th of July and he's like, well, it's, you know, it's snowing. <laughs> it is so, so funny. This let me see what I can if I can find it. Oh, I laughed so hard right here. He sees the reindeer, and um, he jumps on the sleigh. And shouted on grumpy, on sneezy, on dopey, on bashful. Then he couldn't understand why they wouldn't move. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just tickles my funny bone. <laughs> oh, my daughter found this one for me beautiful artwork just gorgeous I love the uh, the vintage look of this just gorgeous when was this one published 1975 was the 14th printing oh well, look at there and I never know how to whether to say his name Richard Scary or Richard Scary. Don't know. 
that's really great this one is another one that I hear people talk about this artist all the time Eloise Wilkin because she does the most beautiful artwork of children um, I'm trying to see 1970 look at that isn't this gorgeous absolutely beautiful and it is uh, sewn in so I can easily remove those pages how beautiful is that I got these my husband's currently looking at them my husband is very much a jack-of-all-trades can you want it built he can build it for you you want it fixed he can fix it for you um has this huge shop i down this behind our house that i think is bigger than our house um two level shop get that <laughs> so anyway he says he says oh i have i have sears craftsman uh saw really old he's had it for a long time so he's he's looking at all these to see if there's anything he want he might want to Oh, somebody left something in there to um, to have, or if he wants to pass it on to my son-in-law. He hasn't decided yet. Let's see. Oh. I have used some of the Helen Steiner Rice books before, but I picked them up because, you know, they need a home. And it, this one has really pretty artwork in it. I love the watercolor look of it. really pretty so that'll be nice and there was this one this one is this the, the arc is, isn't as pretty um, but the, the poet some of the poetry is really great though so those are those are those are good to use in junk journals too here she is <laughs> love her outfit <laughs> as my youngest would say she's bougie so what's the cover look like oh now see that's a pretty green cover yeah I can use that too let's see what freebie I got in here oh birthday wish no uh, barcode so you know it's old oh it's been written in Oh, 1987. Sweet. Oh, I like that. Um, another artist book. Let me look for the Naked People first. Because, you know, that's just... Yep, there, there, there you go. Just one right off the bat. Oh, I like her, though. You have to be careful with these... Oh, there was another. <laughs> oh, the opera singer. Concert singer, excuse me. Oh, that was sweet. So, there's that. Thomas Eakins. Oh, goodness. Um, I had saw this one the day before and had put it back because I was paying by the book at the time, but this easily slipped down in that paper bag because it's so tiny. But really pretty stuff. I can either fussy cut or use some of the pages. I saw this the day before too. I already have a selection of Thomas Kincaid uh, pages. So I didn't pick it up, but then it was still there. And I thought, okay, that means I, I need to take it home. Thomas Kincaid artwork is just beautiful. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous. So, I'll make use of that. Found this. Again, fit in my bag. But this one is from. Oh, 1990. So, I guess that's considered vintage now, but this would be good to use in all kinds of like the like I was talking about the 
gardening journal or the oh my god what did I call it oh whatever plant journal gardening I love it it'd be good and and I love the orientation of the pages so that if I can get them out really well it'll fold up and make a really great junk journal page plus I may look through it first see if I learn anything it's always good isn't it okay I think this is my last little pile let me make sure yes this is last of it another Helen Steiner rise they had quite a few of those but this is Christmas poetry which was great for my Christmas journals great 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 understanding art let's see when this one's from has a very vintage feel to it so am I just not seeing it hmm. well okay oh well I don't know when it's from <laughs> but it was only twelve dollars and fifty cents no Oh, that's other books. Other books. How much was it? Well, it doesn't say. Okay. Unless I'm just missing it. <laughs> there was one in here in particular I saw when I was flipping through. And I was like, oh. Seen that before. See if I can find it. <laughs> Look at these children. <laughs> Her. Portrait of a Lady. I have seen, I believe it was, I could be wrong, but I feel like I have seen Catherine from Sunnyside Journals make a journal with her on there. I could be wrong. That feels familiar. So. I thought I'd save it plus the cover is so pretty I do want to make <laughs> I have so many plans for journals y'all so many but one I want to make is a peacock journal and that is peacock colored that would make a good one that could be why I picked this book up <laughs> don't remember it was kind of a rush um, this one for the artwork look at him isn't it cute so this would be great in children's books great 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 uh christmas just to use in my christmas journals um these books are chinese so look i've already got a start on my little chinese journal it's okay A Cinderella story from China. This one's cool. Chinese Mother Goose Rhymes. It's even put in the book this way for the most part. How cool is that though? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Well, I think that's it. Um, so all together, I spent $27 on that massive pile of books. And this is not including the little handful that my uh, oldest grandson got so <laughs> I'm quite pleased with it so I hope you enjoyed this book haul and uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas for some books so um, anyway my, may God bless you and keep you safe